we all want to save the planet. Tell us about Pila. Next guest wants us to wrap our brains around using compostable tech products. And our guest says there are steps and changes we can make in our everyday lives. Whoa, my scammer sense just went off the scale. There's a cool new solution that may be just the next must-have household item. To help the environment, prevent waste management, and be more sustainable. CEO and co-founder of Pila. Well, your company uh, is backed by a heavy hitter known as Jay-Z, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> but explain this new product you have, because it's kind of a game changer. A game changer? Now I'm certain. We're kind of mimicking Mother Nature here. It's It sounds kind of weird. I call it my magic dirt machine. <laughs> yeah. um, what are some easy ways that you suggest reducing waste? You know, beyond just what Lomi can do, which is turn your food waste into dirt overnight, which I think is just a whole game changer. Ah, rule one, if you're ever going to do something that is so environmentally unfriendly that it's helping to destroy the planet, Get a cute little kid to join in. You're gonna buy something anyway. Why don't we make it easy for you to buy something that's just better? I really think this should be in every household. Mm. Good idea. Yeah, we can do more damage that way. What if changing the world was as easy as pushing a button? Hey, I'm Matt from Pila, and I want to introduce you to my friend Lomi. At Pila, we're a team of engineers and material scientists. Wow, just look at all those engineers and material scientists, and not one of them can actually do the most simple of thermodynamic calculations. And for those worried about the uh, idea of thermodynamic calculations, actually, it's the simplest dividing one number by another. Oh yes, everyone who has found a way to pointlessly increase everyone's carbon footprint whilst simultaneously claiming they're going to lower it, wave vigorously at the camera. The last three years, we've been creating something truly special a solution to the world's garbage problem. Now, before I show you how Lomi is gonna change the world, let's talk about why you're gonna want one in your home today. Yeah, put the little kids in there for a little green emotional manipulation. Maybe you live in a big city and have a green bin program. You know, those little plastic bins with leaky bags under your sink that are amazing at producing smelly, gross liquid sludge that nobody wants to touch. Yes, yes. If only there was some sort of massively energy inefficient, large, space-consuming, electrical consumer appliance that requires high maintenance solve this desperate problem of emptying the trash can. Sounds like something that would be a game-changing product to me. Don't have a green bin system where you live. And instead, you throw all your food waste into the garbage which then goes to a landfill, which produces methane, which causes climate change. Yes, if only there was some way you could desiccate this plant waste and then grind it up pointlessly using lots of energy so you can put it in the soil somewhere where it will uh, rehydrate, then decompose to form exactly as much methane, causing exactly as much global warming as before. Oh, sorry, more global warming, because now you've had to put all of the energy in to desiccate and grind up the waste First. Now all you can do is convince people to pay $500 for the privilege. Lomi makes your life so much easier. Lomi can compost your food waste, that pesky packaging from your online shopping habit, and even biodegradable plastics. Yep, Lomi even works on peeless compostable phone cases, all at the push of a button. And as little as a few hours later, your waste has turned into the start of nutrient-rich <laughs> uh, uh, Sorry, what was that? It's, it's a composter, right? It produces compost. Well, you can compost your food waste. Nope. A few hours later, it isn't transformed into compost. It's transformed into the uh, start of compost. And as little as a few hours later, your waste has turned into the start of nutrient-rich compost. Which, if you think about it, is kind of exactly what it was before. You probably know us at Pila as the inventors of the world's first compostable phone case. Pila's customers have eliminated more than 41.8 million plastic bags worth of garbage in the last five years. Oh boy, this really is amateur hour. Air plastic, wearable carbon, and sky diamonds are all things that I busted years ago. And whilst this isn't exactly the same, the core of it is. Just to keep alive, your carbon footprint from breathing is about 50 grams per hour, about a kilo per day. And your first world lifestyle adds about a zero on the end of that. Basically, you can't change this into being carbon footprint friendly by economizing on plastic, especially something as small as a 50 or so gram phone case. Yeah, that's your carbon footprint for breathing for an hour. And you're gonna save that, what, once every five years? 
during which your carbon footprint has been uh, 50 plus tons if you're lucky. If you want to economize on carbon footprint, it's simple. Use less energy. Like, say, for instance, don't invent power-consuming ways of pointlessly desiccating household waste. To create Lomi, we've spent over three years completing more than 1,000 compost tests and endless hours of design and prototyping. Lomi isn't just beautifully designed. Oh yeah, you need a lot of design to convince uh, eco-freaks to uh, pay $500. And this is Natural Living with Sanana, where I share information, tips, and product reviews to help you live a more healthy, sustainable, natural, and non-toxic lifestyle. Uh, for a machine that will actually increase their carbon footprint. Okay. Lomi isn't just beautifully designed. It is the world's best home composter. Aha, uh -huh. the world's best indoor composter, which as you might imagine, is not a high bar to cross, but notably not the first. Indeed, history is almost as littered with failed versions of this idea as it is for the uh, free water from air device. Way back in 2013, about 10 years ago now, there was the Chloe. Introducing Chloe, the ultimate composter. Turn your food waste into a valuable resource in only 24 hours. Chloe saves you time and money and helps create a more sustainable environment. Did you know that over 60% of landfill is made up of food waste? Which seems to have died or gone bankrupt or something. Then in 2017, about five years ago now, there was the Zero launched on Indiegogo, raised about half a million dollars. And it looks like they did actually deliver something to customers for about a thousand dollars, which if you follow the comments, seems to have been a thousand dollars of unreliable junk. Uh, let's take a quick look, shall we? So here we are on the Zero Food Recycler, raised about half a million dollars off 700 backers. So they're paying about $800 a pop for this. And some of the early stuff is, you know, they didn't get it. And, you know, to be fair, the project owners do look like they reply to a lot of the what a scam, where's my refund stuff. Zero Food Recyclers started when we learned how big of a problem food waste is and its effect on the environment. From there, it was a years-long process to come up with an elegant, effective solution to the problem. I must say that all the good that I feel I'm doing by composting is completely offset by the smell. The first couple of times I used it, I thought maybe it needed just a little warming up. It's unbearable. The new Zero Food Recycler, turning waste into wonderful. Or well, the other comment that's remarkably common is it just stopped working. Now, after a lot of hard work and many iterations, we've come up with a revolutionary new device. Hmm, there's something very familiar about all this. The last three years, we've been creating something truly special, a solution to the world's garbage problem. Now, before I show you how Lomi is gonna change the world, that recycles a week's worth of a typical family's food waste within just 24 hours. My unit is currently at a thousand dollar paperweight and it's bumming me out. I was told that for my investment, I would receive a functioning unit. I was not told that for my donation, I was going to be a guinea pig. The mission of the engineering team was to create a device that could help the consumer take those food scraps and turn them into something useful without having to leave the kitchen. Can I return my Zero? It doesn't work. I've tried all the troubleshooting tricks and it just breaks immediately again. The inner workings are complex, but simply put, Zero Food Recycler accomplishes that goal a few ways. What do I have to do to get someone to fix my Zero Food Recycler? I got about three rounds of fertilizer out before it stopped moving the fertilizer from the main compartment to the bin. I expected much better service from Whirlpool. Now I have a huge hunk of $600 junk sitting in my house. Would someone please contact me, blah, blah, blah. Kind of play around with the Zero Food Recycler at W Labs. I was fully amazed with the product that came out that I could use as fertilizer in just like a 24 hour period. You can deal with the noise and the smell, but now it takes two to three days to run. I haven't had a chance to use the Zero Food Recycler in my home yet. So I'm really looking forward to the Zero Food Recycler being available because it will change the way that we do composting with my family. My apartment is 700 square foot, too small for the smell to disperse when the unit runs. You know, those little plastic bins with leaky bags under your sink that are amazing at producing smelly, gross liquid sludge that nobody wants to If I move it to the balcony, as suggested by Zero Responder, I will void the warranty. 
How do I keep dust and pollen out of it? I received my unit eight weeks ago, and after trying to set it up, I found there is no app. The unit makes a humming sound, and nothing happens. Or there's the Food Cycler, which you can currently buy for about $500. Although, if you've seen the videos of it working, not quite sure why you would do that. Sometimes when I am composting, I notice at the end of the cycle, a residue is left on the bottom of the bucket. I've got a picture of that here for you. And we'll be able to see the last batch that I composted here. So yeah, historically, this rapid composter has a long lineage as a failed device, simply so it can be reported by Pella as a totally new approach to solving the world's waste problem. We're here at the CNET Smart Home today taking a look at a really cool product. It is the W Labs by Whirlpool Corporation Zero Food Recycler. So this is a $1,199 device that basically takes all of your food scraps, it basically takes that long, tedious outside process and reduces it down to a 24 hour period. And it dehydrates the food and it turns it into this fertilizer that you can access in the bin below. Which brings us on to the current round of people have paid the best part of half thousand bucks for a rapid composter. No, not to buy one, but to back one on Kickstarter. You know, where you might have to wait for a year or two for them to figure out exactly how they're going to make the product, if they can figure it out at all. So there are at least three of these that I'm aware of. Taro, Kalia, and Lomi. Taro raised some $2 million Canadian dollars in late 2020. Kalia raised a total of just over a million euros at almost exactly the same time. Now you have Lomi. Six months late to the uh, stupidity party, raising about seven million dollars now for timelines taro was late getting to production but it looks like they actually got there meanwhile kalia lingers in the excuses phase the campaign for all of these things was virtually identical introducing the taro device a solution that revolutionizes home composting taro is a small countertop appliance that quickly transforms your food waste into a natural fertilizer you know a family of Friendly, good-looking, congenial uh, actors, always with an eco-friendly mom and a lot of cute kids desperate to participate in whatever mommy is doing. But no panic. Doing something good and creating environmentally friendly compost is easy peasy. Today, we are proud that the Taro device possesses a unique, performing and energy efficient technology. Before I show you how Lomi is going to change the world, let's talk about why you're going to want one in your home today. With immaculate production values, which it must be said is rather a jarring contrast for Kalia's update videos, where they update people that rather than having a working product like they have in their uh, promo videos, they don't really even have a functioning prototype. No more smelly garbage, no more garbage hassle. Fresh compost, easily homemade, less stress for you. So yes, Kalea is of course packed with the latest technology, but then new technology is always complex. And it took us many workshops and discussions to handle this complexity and to simplify the manufacturing process. Just plug it in, push the button and let the compass game begin in three magic steps. Curious to see how and where Kalia's magic is made? Since 2017, the passionate Kalia team worked and tested hard on innovative technology and the perfect design to fit in every kitchen. All right, thanks, Patrick. The time in Italy was really important. It was great to finally meet this highly skilled and really passionate team in person. In the last two weeks, we finalized the assembly of our first serial prototype. Many generations of prototypes. Updates compared to the, our last prototype. I want to show it to you. Can we just have that moment of passion again, please? Compared to the, our last prototype. I want to show it to you. And one last time to seal the deal. I want to show it to you. Almost two years of testing. There are many more improvements, which you unfortunately can't show today. 
because the patent process is still not finished. Together with leading research institutes, Kalia perfectly optimized the composting process. Despite all the progress we have made with Kalia, we don't have such good news regarding our delivery date. We won't be able to meet our scheduled delivery date. We worked so hard, but despite all efforts, we have to update our delivery schedule. The shipment of your first Kalias is now planned for December 2020. You can kill them with kindness, because not everything that is called compost is real compost. Look, fundamentally, all you're gonna know here is that really isn't a lot you can get done in the way of composting in 24 hours. You know, ask anyone who's tried to ferment stuff, like say for instance, beer. So really all you can do is dry this stuff out and grind it up. And a lot of vegetable waste is cellulose, which is notoriously slow to break down. Overwhelmingly, all you're gonna do overnight is desiccate the stuff, which turns out to be almost the most energy intensive thing that you could do to your trash. I mean, we're talking getting some regular trash bags, gold plating them, then throwing those away for no apparent reason and just using regular trash bags. That's the sort of level of waste that we're talking here. You think I'm joking? Not even close. This is Lomi describing after you've paid $500 for your piece of kit, actually having run it overnight. Now, what are you gonna do with it? Oh, throw it in exactly the same trash or exactly the same compost pile that you were going to beforehand. But I'm gonna call one of our engineers and ask him, what's the best practice for what to do with this? I'm gonna ask you, I ran Lomi in express mode last night, and I'm curious, sure. what can I do with what's left in the bucket this morning? Green bin is one option, second option is a home compost pile, and third option is uh, garbage if you don't have anything. Sweet, okay. What if changing the world was as easy as pushing a button? And for the last three years, we've been creating something truly special, a solution to the world's garbage problem. I mean, you might remember from a lot of my early busting videos, there were all these people claiming that they'd solve the world water shortage by getting water from the air. No, not by rain, but by some amazing new technology that no one had ever thought of before called a dehumidifier. And yes, that story is to this very day, a staple of the junk news cycle. And the reason that never became commercially viable, of course, is it's too expensive. Boiling and condensing water is one of the most energy intensive things that you can do. Kettles are high energy appliances. You really have to gurgle the energy into those for minutes just to boil off a tiny fraction of the water. This is you putting the energy into the system to break the hydrogen bonds. And that takes a crazy amount of energy for water. 2 million joules per kilogram of water. That's about a liter's worth. So that there is one liter of water. Basically, if you want to desiccate a kilo of plant waste, which for simplicity here we'll call a kilo of water, nah, it's not, but it's, you know, it's close enough, you know, it's like 80% water, that sort of thing. I love it because it's super quick and it reduces your food waste down to 80%. So it's basically going to require the same amount of energy as boiling one liter of water. Lomi is interrupted in the middle of a cycle. Caution, the bucket and the contents will be hot. Stand back as there may be some steam if the lid is removed. Yeah, it's like putting one liter of water in your kettle and boiling it off. And so even if we assume no losses here, we can calculate exactly how much that's gonna cost. Or maybe more relevantly here, it's carbon footprint. But you know, for the eco-nauts who think they're gonna save the planet with a recyclable phone case. Merely to evaporate one kilogram of water requires two million joules, two megajoules, or about half a kilowatt hour. So if you have a kettle that runs at about two kilowatts, you'll have to run it for about 15 minutes to boil off the water, assuming no losses. Now, kilowatt hour in America is about 12 cents, so half a kilowatt hour is about six. So cost-wise, you might not think it's so bad. We'll come back to the other costs later. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you're all desperately looking forward to the convenience of having to cut up your biodegradable plastic into little squares. There are two things to remember when you're running a Lomi approved mode. First, we recommend a maximum of 10% bioplastics and the rest food waste. And all of your bioplastic pieces need to be less than 10 centimeters. So sometimes that means you'll have to cut it up. 
In this case, we've cut up the bag into thirds, and I'm gonna get Craig here to cut it up into smaller pieces, because the smaller the pieces, the easier it is for Lomi. Yes, yes, that's why you pay for a $500 device, to make it easy for Lomi. So I've already set up Lomi with some food waste for us. I'm gonna get you to put the packaging inside of the bucket, just tuck them into the sides. Perfect. Yeah, savor the moment. You've paid a lot of money for it. So what's the carbon footprint of the half kilowatt hour this thing's gonna need to run? Well, according to the Energy Information Agency, to generate about a kilowatt hour using the most eco-friendly of the fossil fuels, natural gas, requires the generation of about a pound of carbon dioxide, yeah, about half a kilo. So to run Lomi will generate about half a pound of carbon dioxide or a quarter of a kilo of carbon dioxide. This is all completely pointless, of course. You just put a load of energy in to pointlessly desiccate your food waste. What if I forgot to put something in? We don't recommend you stop Lomi once you've started the cycle because it can be very, very hot on the inside. It'll be slightly warm on the outside. If you've forgotten something, just put it to the side for your next Lomi cycle. It's totally normal to see some pieces of bioplastics left in your end product after you've run the cycle. What do you notice, Greg? It's really dry. Yes, that's because you put a load of energy in to pointlessly desiccate the stuff. And what can I do with the dirt now that's done? Oh, this is where you're gonna get your payoff for all that extra energy you put into it. And you're not just going to say, put it in the uh, regular green bin or trash can like it goes in at the moment. Any dirt that comes out of the Lomi approved mode can go in your green bin or your waste bin, which is a great alternative to how food waste is being disposed of right now. Oh, what? Those are exactly the bins that it goes in without Lomi. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Any dirt that comes out of the Lomi approved mode can go in your green bin or your waste bin. You've got nothing! Nothing! And not only do they have the goal to claim that this device that increases your carbon footprint actually lowers it, they even go as far to say that Lomi customers have reduced the carbon impact by 1,600,000 ,000 fewer pounds of coal burned. <laughs> the equivalent of 100 million trees. Yeah, so ballpark numbers, that's 100 million trees being equal to roughly a million pounds of coal which means that a tree is worth about a hundredth of a pound of coal per year, which is about five grams or a tenth of an ounce. Yeah. So you have a machine with a history that clogs up by the very nature of the intractable plant waste that you're trying to desiccate. A machine that pointlessly uses energy to pointlessly dry household waste and then dumps that water as humidity into your house has a history of stinking, even if it works, maybe needs constant refills on carbon filters, needs constant maintenance and cleaning. Oh, and clocks in at somewhere between 500. So this is a $1,199 device. And takes up a load of space on your kitchen counter. And it's just raised another seven or so million dollars on Indiegogo. Uh, what was his name again? The Lomi lid. On the Lomi lid. The Lomi body. Lomi in. By the Batmobile bat tracking device. And Lomi's awake. In your Lomi delivery, the easier it is for Lomi. Not Lomi approved inside of Lomi. This is bat pellets from our bat capsule dispensary. In your Lomi delivery. Step Lomi. With your Lomi. Lomi pod. Lomi pods. A Lomi approved bag last night. So let's take a look at what Lomi. Hold perfectly still. This calls for the bat tweezers. In your Lomi pod. Your Lomi instruction manual. Get the Lomi bucket and get Lomi running. I'm gonna get you to switch Lomi to the Lomi approved mode. Yeah. Try us tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Or alternatively, you can just drop a like on the video and maybe consider subscribing. And if you really like the videos that I make here, you can support this channel directly on Patreon. Thanks for watching.